A wild story that you'll only see on Local 10 News. People telling how they found bricks and bricks of cocaine. The coke suddenly washed ashore on a beach in the Keys. The people who found the drugs spoke exclusively to Local 10's Janine Stanwood, and she's live in Marathon for us. Janine. And one resident tells us he lives on the water, so he's used to all sorts of things washing up on the shore, but never this many drugs. The tide was pretty high, and I thought I saw something. It started as a regular beach cleanup for this Big Pine Key resident. Turns out this was nothing ordinary. The tide went down, of course. Here's this black wrapped brick. <laughs> the U.S. Border Patrol says it was 75 pounds of cocaine. So heavy since it was soaked that this resident who doesn't want to be identified had to use a tractor to move it. I put gloves on and I put it on there and I said, nope, this feels like bricks. And uh, right away called the police and uh, out they came. Around the same time on Monday, off the Munson Islands, off Little Torch, a man and a friend in a boat noticed something floating. Their eagle eyes just knew. As we got closer, I was the one that saw the two ropes on it. And, uh, you know, there's a term known down here, square grouper, right? In this case, 70 pounds of coke, says Border Patrol. We're trying to do the, the right thing without getting in trouble ourselves. In total, authorities say these two batches alone are worth an estimated $2.3 million. Agents say since October, there have been 25 narcotics wash-ups in the state of Florida, the vast majority bundles of cocaine. These Keys residents now with stories to tell. I'm now part of the club that's found one. We got it. We got it where it belonged, and nobody's going to die from it, so that's for sure. Quite an experience for these Keys residents. All of that cocaine, by the way, turned over to U.S. Border Patrol. The investigation continues. We're in Marathon. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.